on him, and today we're talking about this. Well, sort of. Not necessarily him, but, well, you understand later. This is part of my 101 MC, and the inspiration actually came from this guy. The only representative group in the media I'm looking at is an ethnic minority group. Chinese. I'm talking about this, because I am this. So let's get started. First of all, not everyone who is this, is this. In fact, most of us can't jump balls or do crazy martial arts stuff. But don't get me wrong, mess with us, and we will kick your ass. <coughs> anyway, another problem I have with the representation of this, in this, or this, is that there's a common misconception that we all know maths. This isn't true. We aren't walking calculators, and any retard can calculate that 2 plus 2 is 4. Well, almost any retard. So why is this? Why are we represented in such a way? Personally, I blame Hollywood. With movies such as Rush Hour 1, 2 and 3, Bulletproof Mug, etc, it's no wonder that the public sees it in such a stereotypical way. To deal with this problem, I propose less high flying action movies in the West and give actors and actresses more serious roles to star in. Well, maybe not that serious. However, the counter argument of this approach would be money. Would the industry make as much money? Sadly, I doubt it. Quite frankly, everything boils down to success and failure, and nobody wants a failure. This means that this group will forever be backed into a stereotypical corner to make money for the fat cat. On a final note, there's a stereotypical view that all Asians look Wait, hold on. Um, hey, Lee, get over here. This is Lee. You see, I asked my example. So, where was I? Oh yeah, as you can tell, not all Asians look the same. So please, stop calling us Jackie Chan. Stand, stand, the China man, China man, China man, stand.